doesn't get enough water. He hardly drinks. He'd rather drink pop at his work, and it's really hot. So he needs that water. He has men that pass out. <laughs> so, Michael, would you agree that, that you really don't drink water? You pretty much are drinking the energy drinks and soda all day long? Yeah, I don't drink much water at all. <laughs> we were looking at some statistics, and up to 75% of people in this country are walking around with some mild dehydration because we don't drink water anymore. We just drink all these caffeine-laden sugary beverages. And even sometimes we don't drink enough of that. Well, what happens when you're chronically dehydrated? Not good things. So let's take a look at what's going on inside your body when you're dehydrated, your brain. Do you ever feel tired and confused when you're never drinking any fluids? Yeah. Well, there's a reason for that. Because when you're chronically dehydrated, your brain is literally not getting the kind of blood flow that it needs. Your brain cells are not full of the fluid that it needs to think properly, to create memory. 60% of our bodies are made of water. We need this. Well, another thing that happens, dry, cracked lips, dry tongue. And most people don't think about being hydrated as being a part of our immune function. But what lines our airways and our lungs? It's called moist mucous membranes. And when you're dehydrated, the moistness goes away. That puts you at increased risk for viral infections, for bacterial infections. Your kidneys. Your kidneys need good blood flow. If anyone's ever felt really dehydrated, have you noticed your urine becomes really dark, super concentrated? Has anyone ever noticed that? Mm -hmm. And that's because you don't have enough fluids in your bloodstream. You're not hydrated. Your kidneys need that to function properly. You can actually kill off kidney cells if you're too dehydrated. And this is another thing. Your whole abdomen, your stomach, depends on being hydrated to help offset some of those false hunger signals. So this is my recommendation. And I'm going to ask you to do this, Michael. Before every meal. That's not a soda can, <laughs> just, to, just to clarify. Drink a glass of water. You're, up, you're gonna eat up to 20% fewer calories. You're gonna help get rid of that false hunger sensation. You're more likely to stay hydrated, but you're gonna feel better as well. And no, you have to understand at home that soda all day long and energy drinks don't count mm -hmm. because all that extra caffeine is actually going to dehydrate you more in the long run. So is there an app for that? There's an app for that. <laughs> Believe it or not, this is awesome. It's called Water Your Body. I'm going to pull it up right here. And it's really cool. Basically, you punch in your, your body weight, and then it tells you how much water you should have each day. Oh. And, uh, and then it, and each time you, ha you have a little drink, you just kind of press the table and uh, a glass of water or a bottle of water. And it's really cool. And it tracks it throughout the day. And it gives you a letter grade. And so I can punch my graph up. And uh, yesterday I got a B, which is pretty cool. But today, I was getting a D today because I've only had a couple of glasses of water so far. So it kind of reminds me to drink more and more. And it kind of tracks it. And it actually sends you reminders. Hey, drink some water. Oh, wow. That's, that's pretty cool. That's, awesome. that's a great app. And I'm feeling a kinship with you, Michael, because I have a hard time drinking. These are my naggers up here, OK? <laughs> they nag me all the time. And do, do you like the taste of water? Just say it. Just say it. What, what I, I, taste? I don't like it. Well, I, don't, I actually don't like the taste of water. And a lot of people actually don't like the taste of water. And so there's a lot of ways to try and make it taste better because you're used to drinking either something bubbly or something that has a lot of flavor. So while you're trying to wean yourself off, um, or even just to do this as a supplement, this is the aqua zinger and the citrus zinger. And basically, it's water infused with um, fruit or herbs, and it gives it a nice flavor. You can also use carbonated water and things like that, too. And these bottles are great, because I actually have a pitcher at home where you can do this. But this you can take on the go, because it has a plastic leak-proof cap that so you can just you know, pour, take it, and you just put the lemon or the fruit or the herb down there. And I do this at home, so it's really great because one of the good, one of the things about soda is that you can take it with you, and that's one of the reasons why we drink it so much. But this is a way that you can take this healthy water drink with you.